Hello everyone, Wanda the Flailing Rock Lady here, and today I'm going to do um, a tattoo on black, a white tattoos on black with the Color Shift homemade watercolor paint palettes that I made um, a while back, and I'm going to do it in an Easter egg style, so we'll see how this goes. Anyways, this was my tester rock to see if I could make it work out. And I wanted to show you guys the cool shift. I don't know if it works better with the flash off or on. It just depends, I guess. Anyways, you can see the shift here. Gold to red. Um, this one goes from like turquoise to like ice blue. And then green to like gold here so you can use the paint on top of a tattoo and these are the six colors that I chose to work with today and I'll show you the shift here so this is one direction you have that and then it goes oh how do I do it a minute ago there we go <laughs> it's like magic. I love it. It'll never get old. Yes, I'm like a big kid. I'm trying to get this one. Number the letter A here. It's so cool. Let me see if I can make it work. Okay, here we are up close with the flashes. This is like a champagne to a green. Okay, enough playing around. Anyway, <laughs> fun, fun for everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these tattoos that I've picked out. And they are white tattoos. And they came in sheets. I'll link uh, the tattoos in the description. They are from Amazon. And I think it's easier that way. Um, so they're uh, normal temporary tattoos. We are going to turn them over. Take off the protective film here. I've cut them out, obviously, from the sheets. Um, so we're going to turn them over and apply them to our rock. And then we will give it a little color. So, um, just getting it ready. I am going to use a little bit of Mod Podge to prep. This is a river rock. Um, this is what it looked like before the base coat and I used Waverly chalk matte finish and uh, what's the color I forgot the name of this color it's uh, black I guess I think it's called ink though I don't know why I can't find the name anyways okay Mod Podge regular uh, sealer in gloss and I'm just going to use a fan brush here and you want to work with it while it's wet and I did get the brush wet first and then I dipped it in a bit of Mod Podge What this does is because this rock is bumpy, it's going to help the tattoo, the bubbles that will be underneath the tattoo, this will help seal those in. You'll still see the bubbles until it dries, and then once it's dry, you won't see those bubbles. This was, I mod podged also first. Okay. And, eep. Make sure it's exactly where you want it. When you 
press it in and then rinse out your brush really really good and get some clear water and while it's still wet the Mod Podge is still wet apply the water to the back of the tattoo generously it's okay if you touch the Mod Podge with the brush and the water but don't leave the Mod Podge in your brain. You know, you're not Mod Podging the top of the tattoo, if that makes sense. I think I got my tattoo a little to the right, but you can't move it, so we're going to have to live with whatever I did. <laughs> and it'll be one of those, what do they call them? Happy accidents. I think we're moving. Cool, I might be able to fix it. And while it's still wet, take your finger very gently and pull out any of the edges and the bubbles. Make sure your finger's wet because you don't want to pull it off of the rock. Cool. Okay. Very pretty. All right, for the next one. You notice I'm doing the Mod Podge in sections because I, I really want it to be wet when I'm working with it. So I, oop, there's a big dip in our rock too. So that's gonna be a problem. I didn't see that. Try to fill it in with Mod Podge. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, we shall see. <laughs> Probably going to have a lot of dry time here. Okay. We have a nice lotus flower. Okay, very gently, if it's starting to move, slide it slowly. Make sure all your edges are got a little wrinkle there. I guess it's permanently wrinkled, maybe. be very gentle these tattoos um you know on these clear spots these big open clear areas and in between here there's not tattoo there so you can tear them super easy like on this one, it's close enough together that it's mostly closed. So this one's a little more sturdy, but this one is very delicate. So you don't want to go 
being rough. Okay. And our last little section here, and I lost my mark. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to put on some Mod Podge. You can go right over the top of your tattoo as long as, it, as your brush is wet with Mod Podge to seal those back in. Okay, take off your film, the protective film, otherwise you're just putting your tattoo on the plastic. <laughs> Four hands would be great here. If you got someone to help you, grab them. But this is a huge rock, also. It's like six and a half inches long. And taking a tattoo around a curve is not easy. So we shall see. Ooh, it did well. Cool. Oops. Phew. Little bit of a wrinkle. Let's see if I can get it out with my finger. It's natural to have wrinkles going around the edges because it's not a flat surface. You're rounding, so if you've got to flatten out the wrinkles, that's fine. I'm smushing down the bubble very gently. Remember the big bubble in the middle of my rock here. All right, I'll bring it up close so you can see it. Of course, it's wet, so it looks very milky right now. That will dry clear. But I will show you our tattoo. See, I got it off, sorry, wiggly. <laughs> I got it off center here a little bit. You can see the side, so. Anyways, here it is up close. this is what we're gonna work with today so I'm gonna let that dry and I will come back when it's all dry and we will start making it pretty embellishing it with some of my handy-dandy homemade color shift paints which are hard to see the color shift when they're wet um, and some these are jelly roll pens, and I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. I'm not positive, but they're so cool on black. And this is the Moonlight series. The Tens Moonlight series, and um, they are by Sakura Jelly Roll, or Sakura. And uh, the whites are separate. Those are eights, and they come different, but... All of these came in a pack, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, nine to pack. And they don't have names to the colors, so probably just like pink, red, orange, <laughs> hot pink. Anyway, they're like neons. And they're very beautiful on black. This is kind of a... This is that color shift paint mixed with the Mod Podge, which didn't work out too well. But this is the... This one on there. All right, I will let that dry and be back with you momentarily. Okay, we are dry. And I've added... Uh, Treasure Gold 3081E by Folk Art that I'm going to do a little bit of brush work here and see if I like it. Anyway, I'm going to do a line across the bottom. I've noticed that my stuff is off center a bit, so. Uh, somebody will like finding this Easter egg anyways, so, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to ride across the underside of my tattoo here. And this is just me giving you some ideas about how you can use up the white tattoos if you got some. They do look really beautiful on black or a dark color paint. Doesn't have to be black. Doesn't even have to be like a dark, dark color. It can be, you know, just like a blue or even a darker shade of pink. been a while since I worked on a river rock. Okay, third try. <laughs> Good. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to be off camera. Move some stuff around here. Okay, and I'm going to do one at the top as well. And it's kind of scalloped edge here, so I'm going to do it right above that. Okay, I made it and uh, triple thick so I did three lines with the brush across on the top and two on the bottom I'm gonna try to raise up my camera because this is a very big rock okay that should be better got you in my back in my camera view there so I'm still just adding bits of gold here not not going to go crazy, but just little tiny spots there, here and there. Yeah. 
and I think I'm going to stop there until we're done with the color and then I'll go back and add some gold if I want to. Alright, to use the watercolors, I'm going to use the Pen Touch Aquash brushes. These are water brushes. They hold water here. You can fill them by taking, pardon me, taking it apart, adding water here. I don't like to use them with water because I'm heavy handed and if you squeeze, water, you know, comes out. <laughs> so I always flood my work. So I don't like that unless I'm working on paper and then it comes in handy, but for this, it's not. Anyways, I'm using the small, very pointed tip. And I'm gonna use some of my color and I'm gonna use uh, number 22, which will be this one. And it looks like this crazy. And it's really gummy. I'm kind of let it um, be thicker just so that it won't run off of the rock. <laughs> and I'm going to start down here. Whoops. Okay, be careful. Wait until your paint is dry. Don't be me. And I'm going to do the teardrop shapes here. I don't know if that makes it any better. Probably not. Okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna do all of these. Okay, I'm finished with those pretties. Purple, blue, really blue. All right, I'm gonna use A. On the teardrops under there. So right under it. It is watercolor, so you want to be light-handed. And if you are wondering about uh, how to make the paint, uh, I will link it in the description. It's, uh, I don't know, a, maybe 10 or so tutorials back. Maybe more. I'm not sure. So I'll just, I'll link it in the description so that you can make some up if you want to. I got the pure pigment, the color shifting pigment from, I think it's pronounced Yuli Pigments or Yuli Watercolors on Etsy. And I'll also put her link in there too. All right, so I'm gonna go through and finish those teardrops. Okay, now I'm moving on to 7.5 here. I 
Okay, and I am going to use that on the lotus flower. And this is that really bumpy spot. Mm. Might have to paint that one a few times, but wow, isn't that pretty? Very delicate little areas we're working with here on these tattoos. Okay, so I'm going to paint the petals on the lotus flower. Okay, that turned out pretty nice. I'm liking that a lot. Pretty shift. All right, next color. Where should we put where? Let's see. Maybe this green, number 10. Ah, oh, that's the champagne. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Where, oh, where shall we put you? About here. So I'm going to do these inner little, whatever they are, <laughs> areas. Make sure you don't make your watercolors too, too wet because they will run. And that's not what we're wanting. We're just wanting pops of metallic goodness. Color shifting metallic goodness. Okay. And I'm going to do these in here. Like so. And this other green, number 35, which is this one here. It's a blue shift, green purple shift, sort of. Hmm, let's see if you can see it. It's so hard to get them to shift to the right color on there. Anyways. <laughs> Upside down, I'm going to work on these here, the outside of the petals of these lotus flowers. I'll do one more here and then I will be back. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm doing those areas. In here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, around in these little dotty areas here, I'm going to dot uh, number 20. This one. I can't even see it. <laughs> I can, but the camera is not picking it up. Okay, I'll finish that up. Okay, I'm adding some dots. Sorry, I thought it was recording. So I have them going in pretty much above the scallops. And now I'm going across the top here. I'm not great at dotting, <laughs> but I'm hoping they'll look good. Okay, I better leave them alone. And across the bottom, 
I'm going to do smaller dots, hopefully. Start here. Okay, just coming across the bottom with the smaller dots. Alright, I do believe we're done with the paint. So I'm going to add some rhinestones. Yay! Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to put a heart right here. I don't like that one. Let's see. I have another shape of a heart here. But I don't like that either. <laughs> Hmm, maybe I'll change that shape. Ah, that's perfect. Okay, and la la la. Okay, maybe that's the only one, or should I have put, nah, that's good. Um, I'm going to use some of these little bitty guys on each of these. I'm just laying these on here. I'm mapping it out so we can see how they look. And then when I resin it, I will set them. Okay, I'm not going to put the ones on the sides yet, obviously, because they will slip right off. But there's an idea. And then I'll put some in here, too, of different colored, different colored ones. It's a green.
red. Anyway, so I'm going to go around it with a bunch of different colors. Like so. And I'll probably add some up in around here and there. So this has just kind of been an idea of how you can embellish your river rocks with some tattoos and paint them and make them beautiful. And you don't have to use foil. You know, if you wanted to get even more elaborate here, you could take in each one of the dots that you did with the paint. You could put a rhinestone on top of each one of those and you could get this thing looking like a Fabergé egg in a minute, you know? It's just uh, how far do you want to go? That is up to you. But I will finish this with the resin and the rhinestones and I will take a picture and I will leave it at the very end here so you can see what it looks like resin with all of the stones set. So if you enjoyed what you saw here today, hit the subscribe and the like and tell your friends. And if you want to be notified when I'm making another video, when I'm uploading it, uh, hit that bell and YouTube will notify you. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you soon.